Labrador City is, is a different place. Uh, I come from St. John's, so it's smaller than what I'm used to, but it's quite different. Uh, it's a very peaceful way of life. You know, you have the wilderness all around you, and it's just so beautiful to be outside and take it all in. It's pretty amazing for the outdoor enthusiasts. I mean, there's cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, downhill skiing, skidooing. I mean, you name it, it's here in regards to winter sports. It's really the piece that I like about it. But at the same time, too, it is a city, and it does offer, um, you know, many things. It has a good nightlife, and, you know, everything that you could imagine, it, it's here. When I first came, I came for a four-month term to teach here. This is now my fifth year on, on air. It's, uh, people around here tell me it's addictive. Everybody did the same thing. They came for a short period of time, and most of the people my age have been here for 30 years. Labrador City is a great place to live. People are fantastic. They make you feel at home. Well, I'm here, I like to just walk, explore the land around the area. There's walking trails all over the place. When there's no snow down, you can walk the cross-country ski trails, walk up around the, the ski mountain. There's trails around just about every lake. There's all kinds of lakes for fishing. A workout world or gymnasium that I, I belong to, I like to go there. The Arts and Culture Center has lots of local uh, talent that put on shows several times through the year, besides bringing people in from outside. So I attend several shows there whenever something's going on. If anybody is interested in winter activities, obviously, uh, the, the snowmobiling is, is a big thing. Of course, cross-country ski trails and, and downhill skiing as well. There are loads of recreational facilities. Um, you know, we have the arena, curling club, uh, yeah, no shortage whatsoever.